Action One, inspiring next. Check, 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 check. check. It's time to finish with Marcus Garvey story. Mike, check. Put your mouth where the money is. What's up, everybody? It's your girl Jay Nicole and your boy Asum Ryan. Yeah, what it do? Tell them who we had today. Hey, man, A1 Live, man. We got the JCS Project. We got Lee 360 in the building. Man, they finna tear it down, man. These are true revolutionaries in the works. You know what I'm saying? Give it back to the next generation. That's why we're here. Get in the action, baby. Y'all know y'all can tune in on WeAreA1.com, YouTube, Periscope, Facebook, everything. Everything. Get in the action. Hey, yo, A1 Live. Hey, man, got the Bill Podcast in the building, man. Y'all tune in, man. We are A1.com, man. You know what I'm saying? We're taking a knee on y'all boys, man. Hey, absolutely. Y'all can watch on Facebook, Twitter, Periscope. We are A1.com. Getting the action. Yeah. Hey, yo, it's Wednesday, A1 Live. Catch us on We are A1.com. I'm a jump in there too. Hey, access squad in the building. I'm with Jay Norm. We are A1.com. Y'all tune in right now, 8 o'clock every Wednesday night. It's going down on A1 Live. Your girl Jay Nicole, your boy Atumra. We got the entire action squad in the building. So y'all go ahead and tune in, comment, tell your friends, tell your mama, tell your granny, tell your uncle, everybody. And bring me some tacos. And get an action. What it do, what it do, brother Atum Ra, A1 Live in the place to be, got the credit sisters in the building, Action Squad, what yeah. up? Hey man, we are A1.com, check us out, get in the action, baby. Make sure y'all tune in, you can tune in on we are A1.com, Facebook, Twitter, what else? Man, we on everything, everything. everything. <laughs> <laughs> get in the action. Yeah, yeah. Hey, one live coming to you. Tune in, tune in. Get in the action. Oh, say. Right now, Twitter, Facebook, uh, uh, everything. Yeah. Tune in to everything. Get in the action. Action one. RBG, gonna ride. Oh, God. By the way, I ain't tell you. We see you got the gift, but what you about to do with it? You can't stand on the wall and be cute with it. I'm Lilla when he cross half, I'ma shoot with it. I'm drinking almond milk and they don't show me who missing. They call me Fred Twin, they just know I'm too different. I'm spreading love from above and within. I hate when human beings just judge me for sin. We really come from even Adam, don't that make us kin? But you don't like to see your family win? Well, I'm not the one to blame you for ignorance. Cause I don't know the type of demons you've been living with. But please don't take it all out on me. I'm spreading the LOV in the land of the free. To be honest, GOD made us all so unique. If we all a little different, then that make us more complete, right? Sing to me. Hey, I want the love from the olden days. You can't judge a book by its cover. You gotta read what's on the page. It's been a long time coming, so it's time for us to stand up and spread love. Hey, I want the love. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. Yeah. What a do, man? It's your brother, Atu Ra, Jake Nicole, Axe Jackson, the whole Action Squad holding it down. Another episode of We Are live a one live baby i can't even get my show we right live, today, baby hey, we man. live i just show you man how, how how hype i am to be here man 
You know what I'm saying? How excited I am every time that I step in the A1 studio, He can't man. even get his words together, I, I man. Even, I can't even get my words together, man. Hey, we appreciate y'all for checking us out. Shout out to everybody on WeAreA1.com. Shout out to everybody on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. Everything. Everything. Make sure that if you're on YouTube, you go ahead and you're hitting that subscribe button. Bing. You're getting down. You're following all the shows that we have here on the Action One platform. Shout out to everybody that's checking us out on weareA1.com. Slash TV. Slash TV. Man, hey, that website is something else, it's right? Bomb. Man. It's bomb. Hey, you got to send a shout out to Action Jackson, man. Hey, every time I turn around, that, that website is just getting it's getting colder and colder. Yeah, man, especially the a, weareA1.com slash TV page because we have a lot of different things for you to watch on there. Oh, and not only just that, man, the, the events page. The events page, yeah, everything. Man. But on that, on that TV page, though, if you're an independent filmmaker, you need to get with Action One because we are starting a platform for independent films in the Houston area and abroad. So make sure y'all get at us. Most def, most def. And, and there's so much to do on the website. Go to the website if you're an entrepreneur or a business owner. We can help you build your brand. You know, How we, we going to do that? Man, we can help you with our, with our marketing. But really, we just want to start with a conversation. So go to the website. Uh, click on the, uh, what's it, consultation, you know, English is my second language. I'll tell you what, all you got to do is <laughs> look on our website to simplify your life in mm. 15 minutes or less. That is. That's it. If you have 15, what can you do in 15 minutes, I assume? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, a lot of y'all know what y'all can do in 15 minutes, but is it a positive, impactful way to change your future for the better okay right. and if it's not you need to go to weareA1.com and click on your 15 minute consultation it's free we okay. here for the community to set y'all in the right path if you're a business owner we offer marketing we offer video services advertisement anything that you want if you're an artist get your music rotated on music our station bro. you know and, and that station be bumping bumping a and lot of uh, and we play nothing but independent music mostly from artists right here in Houston Houston. So, if y'all not a part of the family, y'all need to get in the action, man. Get in the action. Get in the action. Man, and you can become a sponsor of A1 Live. You can become a sponsor of any one of the shows that we have here on the platform. Or you can just become an overall sponsor for the website. Like, help us help you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get down with us, man. Get in the action, man. Jay Nicole, man. You know, another uh, crazy week in the headlines. Another... Uh, crazy week in the news you know a lot of people have been been throwing a lot of different things out there uh they just recently had uh, um a, another uh uh presidential debate you know what I'm saying? On, on the on the democrat side or you know some people call you know saying the game of thrones democrats you know what I'm saying who are who gonna be the last one standing you know uh, but uh we're gonna we're gonna talk about that in a minute uh but you know, some news that really kind of came out that it got everybody buzzing is about the OG Paul Mooney. Mm. And I don't know if you heard it, man. What but, happened? Um, so you got, uh, well, first of all, it wasn't even Richard Pryor's son that said it. Originally, it was his bodyguard uh, that said that uh, Paul Mooney, uh, at one point that's on, they were saying Paul Mooney and his son, uh, Richard Pryor's son, had a relationship. Or uh, yeah, then it turned to turn to that uh, Paul Mooney uh, might have uh, molested him or whatever. You know, well, should I say forced himself onto him because I believe he was 19, 20 at the time mm. or whatever. Uh, and, you know, there had been, you know, rumors out there for a long time, you know what I'm saying, uh, about, uh, about the OG. Uh, and, you know. Um, uh, so the men starting the Me Too movement too? I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's great. Well, uh, Paul Mooney's sons, of course, deny it, you know what I'm saying, and uh, – uh, Paul Mooney's been kind of uh, in and out of it. Uh, you know, they say he's starting to get dementia mm -hmm. uh, and things like that. Uh, he's he, I think he was performing up until recently. Uh, but yeah, 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 it's, it's, it's crazy. You don't send a lot of names being 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 thrown That's around crazy. There in, in the headlines. Uh, and is is there like? Does it, does it stop anywhere, man? Like, is you know anywhere? what? In this day and time, in what is going to grasp the minds of America at the particular time that the people need <laughs> the minds to be grasped, yeah. is no telling what will be leaked. You know? Right. And who knows if it's true? Who knows if it's false? 
you know, I think it's a different play with it being on the men's side. Right. You know, is this going to be a whole nother movement of men coming out saying that other, you know, that they right. were. Yeah. And, and I mean, <laughs> just from everything what I've seen so far, uh, you know, kind of like uh, Chappelle said, I don't necessarily know if I believe it. Mm -hmm. uh, just looking at everything, you know what I'm saying? And then like, you don't uh, want to be biased I, I either I because everybody, you know, I'm not going to say everybody loves Paul Mooney, but. Oh, yeah, nah, yeah, Paul Mooney, you know what I'm saying? He, he, Paul Mooney's an acquired taste. Yeah, you know what I'm he saying? is. And, uh, you know, so he is. I don't necessarily, but I think more so people are just looking at the, the situation. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I think one of the things that definitely kind of clouded everything was with the uh, the bodyguard uh, coming out and saying it. But then, you know, the, the son, uh, Rich Price's son, you know, he kind of danced around it. You know what I'm saying? He didn't really say he, he yeah. did do it. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, that's what kind of makes it. Little... But, you know, that's the thing about, you know, media, too, when you get into it. You know, somebody can say something and then it's totally twisted and turned right. and just made into something else. Who knows? Right. If he did it, just say he did right. it. If he didn't, don't talk about it. Yeah. But, I mean, I think it just kind of ties into the things, uh, you know what I'm saying, people have been just trying to uh, play it to the whole, you know what I'm saying, Paul Mooney's gay thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, people have been saying that for a while. And... I and mean, you know, he could it's, possibly right, be like said, it's one of those people who were like, like that in that really, generation. They not gonna you know, be open about it, right, like, you know. It's uh, just how they were bred. But you know, it's not like it really matters. You <laughs> it's know, not. He's still is Richard Pryor's son gay? But see, and that's that's the other thing that um, somebody brought up a point about uh, the bodyguard speaking on it. You know what I'm saying? Because like you don't necessarily know if this man wanted his business mm -hmm. out there. You know what I'm saying? Like right. that. Uh, I mean. I'm thinking everything from everything I've seen. They might have had a relationship. But at the same time, mm -hmm. he didn't come out and say it. You know, yeah. Somebody else came out and said it for him. And I don't necessarily know if he had his, you know what I'm saying, permission or whatever mm -hmm. to do it. So then now you got the, the son being put out there as well and got to defend himself. You know what I'm But you know what? In this day and time, why is that a conversation? Man, he, was over, he, was, he was of age. Regard, I know, yeah. I, I'm a mom. I would I, not be okay. Even my child is 18, 19 years old. You know, yeah. something like that happens. But at the end of the day, by the law, which we oh, yeah. live in America, he right. was by age. And with, you know, the LGBT community being so accepted throughout America, right. you know, why is this even a, a, a part of the news? Right. Now, Mosef, well, I mean, I think that... Um, I think, you know, grown people can't rape grown people. So, I mean, I think if it is a case of, you know what I'm saying, sexual assault or whatever, uh, that's definitely something that should be uh, brought forward to the light. Yeah. But, yeah, like you said, if it's just a, a, a conversation of a yeah. relationship or any other relationships, uh, and, you know, it just kind of sucks that, uh, you know, Paul Mooney has given us, like, so much classic material. Uh -huh. And now at the end of his life, you know, instead of kind of, uh, you know, giving him his just due for, you know what I'm saying, always uh, standing up to, you know what I'm saying, white people. Or, right. You know, just telling, speaking his mind and telling his truth. Yeah. You know, now nah, this is kind of like how, it's kinda how like he's going to go though. out and be remembered. It's kind of uh, like that for a lot of black men entertainers, because you know, in the industry. Look at Bill Cosby, where he yeah. at right now. He left a whole legacy of black excellence and positivity on the screen. But look at where he is right now in real life. Yeah, man. Uh, they tried to get Morgan Freeman, too. Yeah. Uh, Morgan was like, I ain't having uh, this. I'm uh, shutting this down man, right they, they, now. Uh, they tried to get Neil deGrasse Tyson, man. Man. Uh, like Neil deGrasse Tyson, man. You Come know, on, man. man. Like, it ain't safe. It ain't safe. It ain't man. safe. Uh, 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 like Chappelle Hashtag say, man, it ain't safe. Yeah, say, Keep it man. in your pants. Man. Okay. Was, uh, man, we got to do a show one day on cancel culture, man. You man, saying, uh, because that's uh, everybody gonna have NDAs and stuff. Yeah, nah, that's facts. That's facts, man. Well, we're finna roll into this first commercial break, then we're gonna be back. A1 Live, we are A1.com, brother. I tune Ra, Axis Jackson. Q, what's up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Janetta, with A1 Live Pop-Up here at African Fashion Week Art, Wine, and Culture event. We are having an amazing time. They have some lovely art pieces to see. So go ahead, get down here. You still have time. Everybody get in the action.
I'm in between blueprint and blue face Off the wall and off a perk My big brother make my mama proud But my little brother get on my mama nerve But she love him, she spoiled shorty Always buying him designer shirts And I'm Malcolm in the middle You know the conscious brother you can find in church Hey, watch how I maneuver it I write the beat like I Ubered it I'm trying to get my message to the streets From Larry Hoover to the Hoover Crips Doubters wonder how I'm doing this Like how he breaking all the rules to this I kill the track and then put it to rest Boy, I don't rap, I'm a eulogist These internet artists be tripping They don't think we can all coexist Well, how you explain the Wade and LeBron? What about Michael Jackson and Prince? I don't care where my name is on the list As long as I'm on it, I am content I walk with God, so I am convinced If I shoot the shot, I'm not gonna miss I'm the millennial middle child And I was just hoping you hit me out I've been inconsistent, been in and out But I'm back now, y'all, it's been a while Alright, man, switch it back, man, get out of there, get out Alkaline water in my cup I be needing something that is real People always ask me where you from I'm from the same tribe as Lauren Hill yeah. Middle child Get in, get in, get in. The action. Get in, get in, get in. The action. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Get live, get crook every time, man. Hey, man, this past week, they just, um, you know, anybody within the city of Houston, um, you definitely had to know that uh, last week something was going on because, you know, we, we have bad traffic down here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Traffic yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, traffic is terrible. Like, I, I've been, I mean, of course, I've been other places in New York, L.A., you know what I'm saying? Traffic is bad. But, you know, traffic is terrible here. But yeah. traffic got even worse. You know what I'm saying? And why? Because Democratic debate, debate was in town. Twin- 2020. Yeah, yeah, get ready for 2020. <laughs> um, I think it was, you know, the, the, yeah. the third the third installment um, of, you know, who's going to go against uh, Mr. 4-5 in 2020. Right, right. Uh, and who, who's going to uh, be the last one standing. Right. Um, you know, this was one of the, the debates where they put a lot of the um, the more known candidates together and, you know, let them uh, uh, duke it out. Uh, but we definitely got to send a shout out to Texas Southern University. TSU, baby. TSU, uh, that they hosted the debate. Um, you know, they, they didn't give TSU, you know what I'm saying, a lot of love. You know but, you know, but, but but they're only the second black, historical black university that has hosted the debate. Most deaf, most deaf, man. So, you know, just, just that's hope. history being made. You got to make sure they don't, they don't try to take it. You know, because mm. you know they've been trying to they've been trying to take TSU, mm. uh, but you know what I'm saying they've been they've been holding on. But uh, before we get too much into the debate, uh, you know uh, another question came up because uh, with uh, college football starting up, um, I think it was like two weeks ago. Uh, you know the the question comes up every year. Uh, well, one about the system of the NCAA and how they. They don't allow athletes to, you know what I'm saying, uh, monetize or capitalize off themselves. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, it's a billion-dollar industry. But, you know, more more importantly and more broad, when you look at all the different conferences uh, within the NCAA, all conferences aren't equal. Mm-hmm. You know, like, that's, that's pretty clear, and that's the reason why people um, fight to be in some of the larger conferences for the notorieties, for the access to resources and better facilities and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, that's one conference that never gets any love. What conference is that, I tell you? The SWAC. Of course. The SWAC never gets any love. Like, they never get... Uh, you know, you, you travel to uh, a lot of their, their various stadiums and... Um, you know, locker rooms and things like that, uh, you find a lot of equipment, uh, you know, not up to par in so many words. Um, and so the question kind of comes up in every year, and it's like a, a de- debate, you know, around, you know, the first few weeks of college football. And, you know, when you, when, you, uh, when people look at the landscape of most people that play college football, particularly college football and college basketball, because those are the two sports mm-hmm. in the NCAA that makes the most money, you see – I think 70 plus percent 
you know what I'm saying, uh, African Americans. Is that really still the 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 percentage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most okay. of them. Oh yeah, most of them. Most of them. Um uh maybe it's a little bit lower in the NCAA than in the uh, mm -hmm. professional sports. But you know, around you know what I'm saying, high yeah. 60, 70, 70 percent. Uh and and the question always comes up is should more of those black athletes that do go to the Alabamas and the LSUs, should they go to uh, HBCUs or should they go to uh, the SWAC? Uh, and I think it's one of those things to where uh, I, I think that we should have more um, athletes playing for HBCUs. I definitely have said for a long time that the government shouldn't incentivize uh, African Americans in general going to HBCUs, um, even though I I didn't go to an HBCU, uh, I definitely do think that if you know, like we talk about reparations and things like that, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying if they, if they were going to put together like a program or an initiative that would uh, give uh, at least a, at least a um, a bachelor's or free, you know, what I'm saying undergrad, right? You know, what I'm saying if you go to right. an HBCU, uh, I definitely think that you know maybe more. Uh, athletes and things like that may travel to these schools and try to bring them more notoriety and resources and things like that. Uh, but what you think about that, Jamie Coleman? I mean, I think that would be a great idea. I mean, a HBCU exists because what? They wanted to give black people the opportunity to attend a prestigious university, correct? Right. And get a good well, education. Right. Well, and, and also more so, they wouldn't allow us into those other that is that is true they would uh, not allow and, us and i mean even that's something that's um prevalent within the history of houston and how tsu got created mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because they wouldn't let black people in u of h mm -hmm. and you know one of the reasons why it's still still necessary to this day um and you know the schools are still surviving but you know when we talk about particularly that that uh ncaa machine um with and and they still have talented athletes that come through, but you know they don't get the TV time. Yeah, uh, like I said, they don't get the recruits and things like yeah. that. So that's why some of these athletes go to, you know, the more yeah they schools. have a better chance. Uh, but I, I definitely do think that all it takes is one wave. You know, what I'm saying like one wave of uh, star athletes to go to I agree. HBCUs and kind of you know raise the raise the bar, right. um, and then you know after that it it be over with. You know, those are going to have to be those people who are willing to sacrifice themselves because of, for the greater good, Man. you know? Yeah. People, we've been doing it all these past hundreds of years, you know, in our culture. It just have to be those same, pe those same type of people to stand up. But the question is, are there still a lot of people that exist like that in our culture? I know there are. I know there mm -hmm. are. But when they have all these other lanes that they can go, it's much easier. So who are who are the ones that are gonna stand up and be like, I'm going here. We're gonna all build right. a build a team over here that's indestructible. All right. Now Mosef, and, and you know what, to be honest with you, I don't know if that is really going to be the wave. Uh, because now I think more athletes are figuring out ways to uh essentially not go to college. And, mm -hmm. you know, maybe do um, a year of, um, you know, amateur football right. or whatever the case may be. Uh, well, should I say more I think that's more the route in basketball. I think more uh, football athletes would probably still uh, go to uh, traditionally uh, school, traditional schools. Uh, but then, you know, that also raises the question about when you look at all the sports within the NCAA, what are the only sports that have those rules and stipulations? Mm. Football, basketball. Okay, so the other ones don't have the same stipulations? Well, no. I mean, I mean, it, no athlete can, like, make money off themselves. Mm -hmm. But, like, when you're talking about, um, okay, so let's say with uh, basketball, you have to be one year removed from high school. Right. Or whatever. That's the rules they made. You have to be right. one year removed from high school. I think football is, like, two or three. Okay. Or whatever. You have to be removed. And they call themselves protecting the athletes. Mm -hmm. But really, it's to drive them into the NCAA system. Mm -hmm. uh, because there's not a job in the world that if somebody sees you and, you know, you're, you're legal age to work, you know, particularly right. 18, 19, 20, even if you don't have experience, um, even if you don't know what the heck you're doing, mm -hmm. If that job wants to pay you, 
right. to do it to get hired. There isn't anything else that say, oh yeah, no, nah, you can't, you right. can't hire them. You know what I'm saying? You want to go to the military, the 18, 19, you don't know nothing about carrying guns or They're being in shape you. or running or right. anything else like that. And you, they talk about how dangerous football is, which it is. Um, but we could we could go tell them go to the military at 18, 19. And, Take one to the dome, you know. Right. right. Or kill somebody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like so. the, the same way we're going we gonna to train you. But only when it comes to football, they're like, oh, yeah, no, nah, their bodies ain't ready. Mm -hmm. and, and, yeah, it's to keep the money machine right, going. Right, absolutely. And I think that probably majority of people are not ready to come straight out of high school into the NFL. But, but some, think, but right, there right, are some. Right, and and I think that they should be given that choice. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, like I said, if that team wants to take the risk on signing an 18- and 19-year-old, that's their risk. Right. And they want to pay that money. And uh, But then we talk about, oh, we, we a capitalist society. And it's all about getting getting the money and take care of yourself. Yeah. But yet, and still, we had this modern day slave system you know what I'm saying? that man there's so many different slave systems just throughout society right now it just right. don't make sense right now most deaf most deaf but um man back to uh back to this presidential debate um you know of course you know you got the the same same name same actors uh oh i'm not know. even gonna lie to y'all i did not watch the presidential <laughs> debate okay i actually wanted to but i'm just i was just too busy yeah. so yeah now nah, most of them you were stuck in traffic yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> exactly nah. and then that was the other thing about um the day and and that was the um you know i actually uh remember i told you uh on the last show uh because of the debate um some of the candidates was in town that's when i got to meet uh julian castro and you know he he's been doing pretty well mm -hmm. you know i like it every time you know what I'm saying he's, he's just kind of a, a fire thrower you know yang warren um of course, you know, you still got uh, Biden as the front runner. You still got Bernie hanging around. You still got uh, Kamala Harris and Cory Booker hanging around, mm -hmm. uh, you know. And uh, one person that uh, saw a a spike in the polls, but then I don't necessarily, and then a lot of news in the conversation was, oh, Robert Francis O'Rourke, a.k.a. Beto, um, you know, I just got to say, man, RIP to his presidential chances. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate you, Beto, because you, you're winning me a bit. But I told y'all um, he was a strange character, man. But he... Y'all don't... Y'all y'all didn't want to listen to me. I've been saying this yeah. since last... The last run he had, you know? Right. He just he just a shifty character, yeah. and I just it's something about him. I just I just... Ugh. So, yeah. So, he, he had one particular line that, uh, you know became a sound bite and uh you know when they were talking about guns and everything like that and he think he said something like hell yes we're gonna take your ar 15s and ak 47s uh so they can't be used against you know other americans and you know of course this is also coming off the heels of a right. recent shooting in el paso mm -hmm. um and you know he's he's definitely playing to that audience and uh some uh democratic strategists worry about uh the democratic party going too left um, and, 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 and trying to, you know what I'm saying, just be too niche when mm -hmm. you got to win the general audience. Right. It's telling Americans they're going to take the guns. It didn't sit well. It's always a losing argument. Like, it's never going Let to. Let me tell you something. I believe in our right to bear arms. Yeah, you know, why not? I got some bear arms. Why not? <laughs> Why not? You know, not grizzly bear arms. Yeah. I'm talking about toting your heat. You know what I'm saying? What's like, I, I believe that you should be able to do that. You should be able to protect your family. You know, why should we as citizens in a country not be able to protect ourselves? Right. You know, anything can happen. I'm talking about with other civilians. Anything can happen where the military decide they want to go AWOL. Y'all not finna just run up in here without a fight. I'm sorry. You know, y'all yeah, nah. could, you know. Come after right. me right now, cause I'm letting you know yeah. you're not just gonna come up in here without a fight. Okay? Right. That's facts. Uh, and you know, I'm a person. You know, I got a few guns. Uh, one of them is uh, one of them is an assault weapon. Uh, I see. Me, I always kind of took the perspective of I understand what they're saying on as far as um, using your guns to you know protect you from the government and things like that. Yeah. Uh, 
I don't really see. I don't really think guns can protect you from the government. No, they can't. Uh, I I'm think, just saying, let's go go out with a fight. You know, especially <laughs> talking about America, like we got this big military. Yeah. And then, not only that, like I think the day and age that people still got in their head of like the military coming in and kicking down people's doors and, and I, I, that stuff is over. Like they controlling people through the food and the water. Yeah, you know that what I'm is saying? so like, true. They don't have to. Do Come that, shoot yeah. You down, like Why said. use the manpower like, to do that? Hey, I just, got a couple of droplets right hey, here. Just put them in a Popeye chicken sandwich. Your ah! boy's gone, you know. Yeah, out of there. Be just like an undercover brother, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, out of there. Watching that when they ate the, uh, the general's chicken, they was messing with. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing, man. I, I see today. So, it's I, true. I, I re- but I, I do think that you know what I'm saying. Guns are, you know what I'm saying. Do protect us from protect other you citizens. From other people, yeah. You know what I'm saying like like other boys, you know, the Jack boys and yeah. other people trying to uh, get in. And I mean, I definitely can see the argument from the perspective of saying that uh, assault type weapons, what do we really need them for in our society? Uh, But at the same time, I think that as long as uh, people are allowed to have them, uh, you know, like you said, the, the police, the military, you know what I'm saying? Other people are allowed to have them. Uh, they the citizens should as well. Right. Uh, and, I mean, and, and I mean, it's not, it's not even proven. They, they, there's no president that can't, uh, like, they can't take guns. Um, I know at one point in time in the Clinton administration, they did the uh, assault weapon ban, uh, and it lasted from 94 to 2004. But that was really more so just the... Um, the stopping of manufacturing mm-hmm. guns, but people still had their guns. They couldn't. They couldn't. They couldn't yeah. take them, man. They couldn't. They couldn't take them, man. Uh, but I mean, even if they did try to, how? I mean, that would not be a success, you know. But, but I want to ask you though: Do you think this is a a, a winning argument? Because you know, some people are like, oh yeah, they, you know, because right now, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of Americans are touched by the most recent shootings. And so, Beto just ride the wave. He's just a person. He just, uh, uh, yeah. You like Jay-Z? He's just over. <laughs> don't do Jay-Z like that. Uh, okay, okay. Don't, right, do, right. don't do Jay-Z all like right, that. All right, all right. Jay-Z all right, is a business all right, man. All right, man. I'm off, I'm off hold, man. I'm off hold. Uh, but, yeah, I, I think, uh, but it, it did, you know, um, it, did, it did bring up a lot of conversations, you know, surrounding uh, what should we do with, uh, assault weapons or what should we do with guns uh, i think i saw somebody put up a meme on um you know it's like uh about five people uh died or had problems with uh e-cigarettes and so now they're putting a the halt of e-cigarettes but millions of people have died from guns and they ain't said nothing about guns <laughs> you know, I, th- I thought it was pretty clever you know i thought it was pretty good it's pretty good uh but you know i think that we we built a culture in a society the, the problem is this People die from e-cigarettes because they chose to smoke e-cigarettes. Right, People die from, from guns because, A, somebody chose to take their life with a gun, or and, B, if, I mean, we had guns in America. You know, that's just another way of population control to be, you know, mm. having guns. Mm. In certain, you know, I mean, you can't take it back. Right, it yeah. is well, what sure. it is. Well, People go kill yeah. each other. Right. Well, now, and Put something see, in the water to stop that. Mm, How about that? Mm, uh, How about we do some reversal stuff? Well, I, I, I definitely think that, I mean, whenever we talk about violence, period, you know, you're, you're definitely talking about, like, they don't want to deal with the, the true issues of the violence on that. How, mm-hmm. uh, it's Violence is the manifestation of the problem. You know exactly. Uh, violence is the, the branches, not the root. Right. And they've you know, already man. given us the weapons to... Yeah, yeah, and, and you know, like whether whether you're talking about um, actually dealing with um, uh, mental disorders within our societies, mm. whether you're talking about actually tackling the the conversation of racism and xenophobia, mm. you know, what I'm saying whether you're actually talking about uh, tackling the problem of um, large populations of people being undereducated mm. and therefore not marketable to this um, economy, to, the, yeah. to they, yeah, the, uh, getting into the economy, yeah. uh, and so therefore. Uh, they find themselves chasing ways that you know that may lead them down paths where violence is. Then you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. And we really look at it like brothers on the oh, street. I like corner. how you just broke that down. Oh, yeah, like like a bro- message. Yeah. <laughs> well, brother, brothers on the street corner are doing the same thing that yeah. brothers do in the courtroom. Like, right. But they go. It's just it's just doing it on a different system and mm-hmm. within a means that. Uh, 
you know, isn't considered the right way. Yeah, you know on buy a piece of paper. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. absolutely, absolutely. Because, I mean, when you look at it, how companies and everybody, like, duke it out over yeah. territory. I mean, Popeye's uh, and Chick-fil-A was just going at it. Yeah. Uh, trademark dispute. Man. Um, location, territory, mm-hmm. name. That's the same thing these brothers are doing on the streets. But, unfortunately, because, you know what I'm saying, they can't. Um, find other ways, you know, to um, take care of themselves and their family. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, all of that is because we got this miseducation system. Right. You know what I'm saying? It isn't just because, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, and then, I mean, even when you look at places like Chicago where they may say, oh, you know, all of this is going on and everything like that, like, they don't want to address the fact of that it's been proven that they found, like, uh, police planting guns in the in the community. Mm-hmm. You know they want to act like it hasn't been proven that undercover cops have been found to be posing as gang members to intentionally create beef with other gang right. members so that stuff really pop off. But then you kind of find out, or you know, not maybe not even an undercover, maybe uh, an informant or somebody like that. But mm-hmm. they were they've been intentionally using people to right. manipulate beef. You know, right? What I mean? Right? Like, it's, you know, yeah, it's deep. Uh, it, it's deep. And so then you know, saying all of these things being said, you know, what I'm saying when you tell people like. You know, we're going to... We can take your guns. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think, uh, you know, people people nah. definitely got uh, trust issues. You know what I'm saying? People definitely got uh, uh, PTSD. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, uh, you know, and it was funny, man. Uh, uh, Ch- Chappelle, you know, he was kind of clever in his last sketch uh, talking about it uh, because... I um, mean, it was actually true uh, what he was saying um, about, like, if you really want gun rights, black people, everybody go out and get some guns. <laughs> then right. you start seeing some, some legislation uh, passing the time, because, I mean, right. that's what they did in the 60s. Right. You know what I'm saying? At that point, that's when they started coming up with all these concealed handgun licenses and everything else like that, and then denying them to mm-hmm. people like MLK and other people like that. Right. Like you can't get a, right. a handgun, but you know, uh, from what I hear, boy, I still kept that thing on him. You know, what I'm you know that's what tell we, you, you know, that's what we do. You know, man, you gotta but, stick uh, and move. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. go the back way. You can't hit the front though. Hit the back though. For sure, for sure. Uh, that but, face. Right. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. Uh, but you know, of course, uh, you know, out of all this stuff in the debate, uh, uh, Biden is still the front runner. And um, I was having an interesting uh, debate with one of my friends the other day about Biden because, uh, in, in my opinion, I said if the Democrats choose Biden, they're gonna lose. They're gonna lose uh, because I think that I think that he probably right now is the most polished and the best candidate, mm-hmm. things like that. Uh, but I definitely think that an establishment candidate like him is going to split the party uh like they say um uh, uh, uh democrats fall in love republicans fall in line uh i, I definitely think that with all mm-hmm. this stuff being said about the republicans and all the fighting on the right or whatever mm-hmm. i still think when it's all said and done they're gonna get in line behind trump because i mean that's what happened in the primaries yeah. like in the primaries everybody hated trump or yeah. whatever but when it came down to right. going up against hillary clinton they all got in line behind right. Trump, despite all the stuff they said about him. And, it, and you know what? The thing is, even after he was elected, you know, his whole cabin, you get in line with what he doing. Oh, yeah. you know? get or, you get, or you out of there. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, but so, they're like the apprentice. Yeah. <laughs> You're fired. Right. You're fired. Right. You're fired. Right. Right. Like Oprah giving away cars. Right. He's firing folks. Uh, but, but I still do think that, with that being said, they're going to get in line behind him. Because I mean, yeah. we saw this, like, yeah, despite, that's what they do. despite what he said about um, Hispanics and everything else like that, Hispanic Republican voters still voted for him. That's crazy. Despite all the stuff he said about women, women Republican voters still and that's voted crazy. for him. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, he, he only got, you know, the traditional 8 9% black vote. But, you know, we got, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know what I'm saying, the, the uh, that's yeah. some R N S right there. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. <laughs> For uh, real. And so I, I, I do, though. I, I do think um, it's, it's like I've always said. I, I do think that the 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 left media is just as responsible for right wing politicians just as much as uh, uh, right wing voters are because I do I do think that some of what uh, like when you look at some of the mainstream traditional outlets 
they play into the narrative of these right wing candidates. And I think that that's what gives the right wing voters the fuel mm -hmm. to go out and support somebody like Trump, because it's kind of like the same thing you see like in dictator companies or whatever, uh, countries to where they use the propaganda to say, oh, you see them attacking us? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, see, right. and I say, nah, now, like, Beto just gave them a gift. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. now, this finna be. They want to take your gun. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're going to take all your rifles, your AKs. You know, like they want to take all of it. <laughs> you going to let them take all your guns or you going to vote for a Republican? Okay. Mm. <laughs> they got <our> jobs. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, you gonna... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say that. <laughs> yeah, we gotta bleep it. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it's too uh, far. But I, I, I do think, and so this is this is part of the argument we were having because I'm like, man, you can't believe this narrative that you see, uh, that like there's no way that this dude is gonna win again. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do think that I mean, I said from the beginning he was gonna do eight times, but I do think that regardless, he. You know, he's a beatable candidate, you know, man. So, like, it's not that I have any type of support for him or anything else like that. Just really kind of strategizing and looking mm -hmm. at it. Because, like I said, if you have Republicans full on for Trump and you got Democrats halfway in for their can't Like, that's what happened with right. Hillary, you know what I'm saying? Right. It was like halfway in, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah. How you feel about that, you know though? I, think, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. I'm going to let it go. Well, I mean, I, let it go. Hey, hey, well, I, mean I think that... Just for me, you know what I'm saying, keeping a G, uh, the life of a <laughs> melanated person, in my opinion, in America, don't change based on the president. No, it doesn't. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of the reasons why I'm always talking about, like, 2019, how mm -hmm. we got the local election, things like that. Right. You know? uh, because, you know, whether we talking about, uh, you know, Clinton, Bush, Obama, Whoever. You know Trump. Uh, you know, the state of our people is still kind of the same. Yeah. Uh, and and I definitely think that it we have to help ourselves. Uh, I don't, I don't think that any of these guys help, and that's why you know a lot of people get mad at me because you know I be talking about Obama and you know what he did or didn't do. Uh, but you know that that is what that is. So I I don't really just uh I don't think that. Yeah, you know, we Hillary was going to be any different. You know, some people say that. You know, definitely, I do agree with some of the people that Trump has selected for cabinet positions. People they put in the Supreme Court. You know, what I'm saying those are things that could be detrimental to our people mm -hmm. or to people in general. But at the same time, I can't make an argument that the people that they pick that are so-called on the left are any better either. Right. You know exactly. Because they can all agree on things like. You know, larger issues like abortion and things like that, uh, marriage, equality, and things like that. But when it comes down to the state of melanated people, like, that's never addressed, you know, by any side. So, what you think about this reparations? Oh, hey, man. Hey, me. Hey, me. <laughs> uh, nah, man, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm all in on it. Uh, you know, I definitely think that it is interesting to see the conversation being had on, you know, the, yeah. the, the, the mainstream. Uh, and I, I mean, it's 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 beyond like America exacerbated this problem by not doing something, you know, after so called slavery ended. Well, that's maybe that's what they should they should have actually stopped slavery, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, not transfer it to the prison right. industrial complex or segregation or whatever, right. but. Hey man, like they say, the the sins of the father, you know, what I'm saying, are, are passed on down, yeah. and 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 that's what we're dealing with today. America never dr addressed this issue. Uh, now, um, I do think, with that being said, uh, I do think that well, it's 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 a long ways off to it, you know, if it if it even happen, and I do think that if it if it does happen, you know, it will come more in the form of resources than you know, saying an actual check, and uh, that's some of the things that I've been kind of. Send me a check, man. For... I take care of my own resources, yeah, bro. Like, nah, I, uh, yeah, send I mean, me a I check. I set it all up. We, I, we I, good. I don't, I don't see it, but we you good know, a, a good, <laughs> but a good conversation that I, I do uh, want to have uh, some of my brothers on for because we we be debating this um, like amongst ourselves. Some of these conversations get heated as well. <clears throat> when you talk about who should really get who should get reparations, mm. because you know we have black people here in America that I think in my personal opinion wouldn't qualify for reparations. Mm. And you know, me being 
are pro-black, me being pan-African and, you know, loving black people all around the globe. You know, that's a controversial who, thing. Who, you, know? you know, I'm not going to do we, That's for another show. We're going oh, yeah. to keep that for another show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Most Our tombs conspiracy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Most of most of yeah, But is we, it really we, a yeah, conspiracy? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk on that because, like I said, it's a it's a it's it's an interesting yeah. concept, you know yeah. what I'm saying, on, on who should get it or who, who shouldn't get it. Uh, but I definitely think that uh, it – it will, if it does come, come in the form of resources. And that's why some of the things that um, I've heard people put out there are pretty practical, such as, you know, uh, investing in uh, mental health resources in uh, black communities, investing in uh, educational systems within, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, black, specifically black communities, like removing that minority tag. And, you know what I'm saying, that allows a lot of other minority people to get in, but make it specifically mm -hmm. for black people, you know, come up with, um, housing grants and right. um, things like that to where uh, people can build and sustain, uh, like I said, work on the K-12 through system, mm -hmm. uh, give people opportunities to get uh, post-high school education, you know what I'm saying, yeah. for free. Again, if you want a master's or doctor, yeah, you got to pay for that yourself. But, but at least yeah. a bachelor's, a certificate, right. associates, you know, Without like, going like to that. debt before you even get to the next level. For sure, for sure, for yeah. sure. But yeah, man, uh, we for the roll to another break, man, and we're going to be back, man. Brother Artum Rod, Jay Nicole, yeah. Action Jackson, Q's up. Get in action. Yo, we back at it again, baby. Get in the action. Three. Get in the action. Tell me what is the deal. Tell me what is the deal. So I challenge you today to start strong. Get in the action. Tell me what is the deal. Cause I'm calling for you. Get in the action. Can you feel that? See, I'm calling for you. Can you feel that? Can you feel that? Yeah, yeah. See, I'm calling for you. Checking us out, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, your, your, your brother, uh, your brother, I turn right, you know what I'm saying? Kind of, you know, I kind of, kind of got on my soul box, but you know, that's how we do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me get jacked up, you know what I'm saying? About these true issues, man. But, um, you know, just in, in all serious, man, you know what I'm saying? We just trying to make sure that we keep the people informed. We let people know what's going on. And this is one of the main reasons why you have to get down with the A1 community. Because, you know, we have so many different individuals. We have so many different um, people that are creative in their expressions. It's true. And they can bring so much to your artistry, to your business. So get down with us, man. Jay Nicole. What people going to catch A1 at this week? Man, A1 will be popping up at the Texas Black Interior Design Symposium. Mm. This is going to be a two-day event starting on Friday, September 20th to Saturday the 21st. Um, there are going to be a lot of different you know, workshops from marketing for interior designers, even interior design students. If you're a student, you actually get a discount. So make sure you guys go ahead and find that on Eventbrite and show some love. You know, if you're interested in interior design, go ahead and get you a ticket. Sure. Uh, we are also yeah. going to be at the second Garden City Music Festival yeah, yeah. in Acres Home Man, at the Acres, Acres Home Shaker. Multicultural Center. Yes, it's a all it's a long event, y'all. It's from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Yeah. and it is for 
for free. free. Okay, for free. Pay, man. $99. Out, man. And you'll see nothing but a lot of different talented artists, sure. musicians of all genres ripping the stage, showing their talents and, and such of that nature. Um, so sure. make sure you guys come and see A1 popping up at these events. We're going to be out there, you know, just taking pictures. Come say hi. You never know what you might what you might find out. So, for sure, so, for sure, so, man. Yeah, man. Uh, the, yeah, the Garden City Music Festival, man. It's always something special, man. Uh, and, and they do it for the hood. They do it for the people, man. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, most of the artists, man, we, you know what I'm saying, you've definitely seen here on A1. So if you enjoy, you know what I'm saying, those, those artists, man, uh, go, check, uh, go check out Garden City Music Festival going down September 21st. Uh, man, and we still getting ready for that third annual Black Food Truck Festival. Yeah. Uh, October twenty sixth. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be going down. It's gonna be going down. Uh, we're gonna have more, more coming soon for the people, man. Uh, and just man, like I said, get down with a one. Yeah, get down with a one. Change the code. What they gotta do on that website? Man, go to the website. Go to weare one dot com. Look at it. See what you're interested in. If you're a musician, if you have music and you want it in the rotation, go to weare1.com slash my music and submit your music. It's just that easy. You know, we don't pay to play. We just want to spread the love. Shout out Brittany Bomber, one of the artists that you'll hear rotating on our station. Uh, we also want you to visit the events page. If you are having an event and you want Action One to come out to video your event or get in the action, make sure you go to weara1.com slash events. You can also see upcoming events and uh, videos from past events, the past pop-ups that we've done. So go ahead and immerse yourself in the glory of Action One pop-ups. You know, we be in the, we be in them streets, you know? Uh, what else can you do on our website, I tell hey, man, You can become exist. a sponsor, right? Become a sponsor of, of, of the station, become a sponsor of one of these wonderful shows that you see on there. You can submit your music. Artists, go out there right now and submit your music. We can get you um, exposed to a totally different audience that you worked on. We can also help you grow your brand as an artist. Uh, but, you know what I'm saying, for all of our artists, make sure that all of the music that you submit us is clean. Clean music. We need clean music. Uh, but if it's clean and if it's live, we definitely will play it. We definitely will support. Uh, make sure that y'all support SG2 on Space going down every Thursday at 8 p.m. and Traveling TV and made a T Saturdays at two. And man, I cannot tell y'all enough to go to weare1.com and check out the radio stream. Man. man. Because you will not be disappointed. Uh, you know, you you will you will definitely feel the vibes uh from uh, all the different artists that we have uh, on here, uh from Brittany Balmer. Uh, to Soulfire, to Anjali. K.O., to shout out K.O., K.O. Rosie, to Bush. Rosie Bush. Rosie uh, to A.O. Ah, man, and the list goes on and on and on. And it's just going to keep growing, man. So Check out those A1 MCs, too, because a lot of the artists he just mentioned have also come up to do uh, interviews. So if you submit your music and we really feeling your vibe, you know, we're going to get you in here in the studio. For sure, for sure. Well, another week up. Another week down. Remember, action, agility, life, and community. The new age of media we here. Yeah. Jane Nicole, how we leave them every week. Get in action, baby. Yeah. Check me out, though. If you can.
sweat on my edges Cause I came to the party, I was looking good Had my nails done, hair in, heels on too But the music had me moving, I felt so good If somebody tried to stop me, I, I wish you would, I wish you would. Yeah. Wanna let my hair down Step number two Kick off your shoes Throw away your blues This is how we do at the party, yeah the fear as you were saying you said that you know i don't want to try because i might fail you know what i'm saying and i'll be out this game or i don't like a lot of things that got that have me stuck sometimes is when i don't know what to do right mm. you know what i'm saying and i ask people and i get millions of opinions and i don't even know what to do even more right you know what I'm because what somebody else's opinion as far as how they would handle it is different from you Right. Exactly. So I'll just be like, okay, we know what. I need you to stop living in fear. I need you to stop thinking that it can't be done. At the end of the day, if other people can get, do something, then you can too. If not, if not you, then who? You know, but it's not gonna be an easy road. It is, you're gonna have some difficult nights. You're gonna have some, some early mornings and some late nights. You're gonna have people not in your corner. You're gonna have people, you know, not believing in you, but you must believe in you. At the end, I don't care if it's one million people going for the same role or going for the same position that you wanna go for. At the end of the day, they gotta choose somebody. So why not you? So this week, I wanna encourage y'all, look yourself in the mirror and believe that if it's anybody else could do it, you can too. Why not you? It's your boy, Jay Norm. Peace and blessings. Remember, why not you? Let's go, baby. Peace. Got a dream?